Welcome to sunny California, San Francisco Bay and the St. Francis Yacht Club. Over my shoulder, the famous Golden Gate Bridge. For the first time since 1961, the Rolex Yachtsman and Rolex Yachtswoman of the Year Award presentation is taking place outside New York City. It's fair to say that American sailors are being challenged in international competition all over the world, but we had some unbelievable competitors this year do exceedingly well. Anna Tunnicliffe, winner of the World's Match Race Championship, and Bill Hardesty, who won the Etchells World Championship in San Diego. And today, we pay tribute to these great accomplishments. You need to know when you've been recognized for achievement that, that you now have a duty as a role model, as a heroine, to set an example and pay it forward, so to speak. So Anna's done all this and is doing all of these things in her own way, in her own style. And honestly, I'm really proud to be standing here today. I hope she breaks my record. I mean, and I couldn't be prouder of what she's achieved. And I think with her teammates going on, I think we'll see them win a gold medal in Weymouth this summer. Anna, well done, congratulations. I hope you see what I see. It's a team in every sense of the word. We need each other, and if we're going to achieve our goal this year, bringing home a gold medal, it will be because we competed and succeeded as a team. I love the people on this team, and I'm so proud to be a part of this team. But I want to take the final moment of my comments to tell you publicly that I could not have won this award this year, well, last year, without you two. In my mind, this award belongs to, to you guys as much as it does to me. I love you guys, and you guys are the best teammates I could ever hope for. Thank you all for your time. So while I was honored and surprised to um, be the Yachtsman of the Year last year, I wasn't uh, surprised at all for Bill to win it this year, and I won't be surprised at all if Bill wins it a few more times during a, a long upcoming sailing career. So I'm delighted and honored to introduce Bill. I had the pleasure last night to dine with you and your family and I could see how supportive they are of you and how much they are with you. It shows dedication, passion, endurance, all the qualities that make sailing great and a great human being. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Well, there was uh, an event in Newport Beach uh, called the Bemis Trophy and after a long battle we ended up winning and, uh, and we were honored with uh, being named in the Rolex Junior Sailing Team. I came home and, uh, and, and, you know, it was kind of the joke at the house, is he going to get a Rolex? Is he going to get a Rolex? A junior sailing, Rolex junior sailing team? And so, uh, so obviously we didn't get a Rolex. But I came home and my dad said, yeah, okay, well, let's make a deal. You can go to whatever sailing event you want, but when you win a Rolex, you have to give it to me. So I said, fair deal. I mean, what's the, what's the difference, right? So, Dad, why don't you come on up and, uh, and get your Rolex. So, on behalf of U.S. Sailing, congratulations to our winners. Thank you very much for all attending, and let's have a good day. Thank you very much, everybody.